Well, here we are. Another Game 7, this time against the LA Kings. As you know, unless you skipped last video or this is your first Be A Pro you're coming across, we simmed the entire season because I just had it. It's been a fun run with the Ducks. You know, I've enjoyed my time here, but I think it would be mutually beneficial for the team and for Scott if they went their separate ways. But for now, I will continue to try my best here, even though the stats show otherwise. Clearly, not trying that hard, you know what I mean? Sub 900... Sub 900 is actually being polite, because that'd be like an 890. We're at an 878. Hopefully we can win this game 7, though. Let's go ahead, view the lines, and see what we're working with here. Barabanov, Trevor, and Terry. It's a good first line. And I mean, we got McTavish on the second line, but other than that... Not too great. This Sasha individual, though, has gotten some clutch goals. So, I appreciate you. Defensively, this is what our team looks like. The Ducks have some good prospects. They've got Olin, they've got Jamie, Pavel. They're gonna be sick in a few years. Scott now at 85 overall, and because it is a game seven again, I might just sim the first period and play the last two. So hopefully it's a close one after one, because otherwise I'm gonna regret it and wish that I just played the whole thing. But I think we should be okay. Let's go here. LA Kings, Mighty Ducks, game seven. Round one. That's a lot of things going on right there. And so far, so good. No one has buried a goal. Shots are even, so this is a very intense matchup so far, which you would expect for a game seven, all right? You don't want a team to get blown out in a game seven. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, clean sheet going into two. Let's get it done. I mean, technically, we're one for one in game sevens, right? So I guess the Golden Knights would have been our first game seven. And we took a dub. So. I'll go turn tethering off again. Win it back to 1-3. Clap it home. Yup. You know what? I'm still impressed. Very impressed. Good job, guys. Didn't think that they were going to do anything I said. But they did both. Did it go in? No. But at least they tried, and again, literally did exactly what I said. Here we go! We gain the zone. Back to Drysdale. Good passing. Maybe a little too much passing, though. Tone it down on the passo meter. It is gonna feel really weird. Oh my word, I should have flying poke checked! That was horrible. I went to the middle of the net and just sat there. Alright, we got a redemption save. That's huge. But yeah, it's going to feel very strange having this period come to an end and then starting up another one without going to the menus. Because obviously, you know, I'm so... Again. Again! Get me out of a Ducks uniform. Immediately. Take me out of the game, coach. I'm pulling a Patrick Wall right now. Like, this is the last game I ever play in this uniform. We own gold again! This has happened far too much for it to be accidental. Look it. Oh, let me get this puck real quick here. What a joke. We gotta get one soon here. Gave up two very fast. And all the momentum is going to be in the LA Kings' favor. So, for some reason, I thought Pesci was just gonna let him go. And I was actually about to quit. Like, I was about to pause the game... Go down to the exit option and proceed. What are we doing? Seriously. Our defense are pathetic. If we go to another team and face the same thing, I'm going to be fuming. Absolute steam out of the ears. Fuming. Freddie Anderson's having quite the game so far. Must be nice when your team doesn't try to score on you. Into the bench he goes. When he comes out, nobody knows. It actually did take quite a while. See, that's called defending right there. What we just witnessed, that's what our team should be doing. Take notes, boys. Because we had a rebound goal waiting to be scooped up. But their defense said not today. Still got seven minutes left in this period, plus the whole third. So we are most certainly not out of this one yet. Could be closer. It's not, but it could be. What a note this would be to go out on, though. 
having my defense score on me again. It would be rather poetic. So, if we do lose this game, I'm not going to be that upset. Obviously, I still want to win, because I want to go on a decent playoff run here. But again, what I've been saying about this team, I don't think we've got the secret stuff. We don't have the team to go all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. I was pretty shook we even made it into the playoffs. There was a point where it looked almost impossible, and somehow we ended up wildcarding, I believe. And here we are. But, yeah, we gotta do something here. Because we're getting dominated. Nope. Nope. Really went out of the net for that one. Well, not the initial shot, but for the rebound. Give zero angle! The puck meets Irene! Come on! McTavish has it! Can't get it through because, once again, that is defending right there. That's what is called... Defending your goal. Oh, big save by Freddy. And Zuccarello's gonna have all the time in the world. Back it on up, boys. We don't need to attack. He's gonna slow down, isn't he? Yeah. If we could get one before the second period comes to a conclusion, I cannot describe to you how big that would be. And we have 30 seconds to do so. Come on! Stop playing with it in our own zone. Get it down there, and do something. Alright, or not. Let's just save it for the third, I guess. I seriously better have an option if we lose this. I'm not saying it's over yet, we still have a chance. Better have an option to either sign somewhere else in the offseason. I don't know how long's left on our contract. This might be the last year, but I think we'd be an RFA. Not sure if Via Pro really cares about all that. And... If I can't sign somewhere else, I better be able to talk to the GM and request the first plane ticket out of Anaheim. Saved. Saved. The second one wasn't really a save. I'm going to count it, though. Nice shot through a screen, but Freddy's on one. Can't score on this guy, but I feel like if we do end up getting one, he's going to crumble. So, we just got to get that first one, crack the code, and then it's all uphill from there. We almost own gold again. It really is impressive how talented we are at scoring on our own net. I don't really know if that would have been our defender's fault, but you better believe I would have 1,000% been blaming them. Nice try, Strom. Again, Freddy has it, and the balls of steel to pass it out, this guy. Holy, he really is on one. Kaliev with it. This is the net. And now Kempe goes in the middle to Kaliev again. All right, we are under some severe pressure now. Get that thing out, thank you. Or skate it back towards our net. I don't know why that really caught me off guard, but it did. Dubois goes... That will be glove saved, and of course I'm throwing it out. If Freddy's doing it, so am I. Can't let him one-up me. Nice pass by Sasha. Jerkovic goes for the toe drag, but no dice. And here comes Essa, back for the Kings. See, look at their passing. It's actually effective. They're doing something. Moving the puck forward, getting in the open areas. The Ducks could never. That's not true. I've told a lie just now, because we've had some really good passing plays in their zone. That have been effective and uh gg no re well it's been a good run ducks just walks in like you do stroll in the park for essa and they get it back yeah this is definitely what a save Nothing else even matters right now. Let's not get shut out here, lads. Come on. Get one goal. Just one. Watch as soon as we leave the Ducks, they're going to win the Cup too. Because, of course, they will. I mean, they will have Gibson in net, who's 86 overall. I'm 85 right now. Was maybe 84 during the season, but still. Like, two overall is not that substantial. But the GM might finally make some moves. Freddy! Let us get one, brother! Come on! 
You know what? There's still five minutes left. There is time for a comeback. I understand why he's not giving us an easy tap. And also, he probably wants to shut it. So, I get where you're coming from, Frederick. But knock it off. Nice try again. Three minutes left. They almost scored on their own net. But apparently, Freddy is better at saving own goals than I am. Atta boy, Freds. Here's Fiala. He's in. Made some kind of move, I think. I'm not really too sure what that was. But he ends up with the puck. And... Oh, my word! I had no right. Absolutely no right making that save. And somehow still managed to get Block City on it. That is... Insanity. That was weird. Hold on. They just tried to pass the puck to him as well. No way he's picking that up. But, hold on. Let's find out what's going on over hither. So we have Clark. Gets knocked down. Goes into the boards weird, kind of. Does like the Undertaker sit up. Gets knocked down. Undertaker's his way up. And then just... <laughs> is that what hurt him? The second part there? I'm not too sure what I just witnessed. But it was a collision of some sort. Get me out of here. Look at that. Okay, so maybe that's the hit that hurt him. I don't know. He sat up, though, after that. Maybe it's just going to stay a mystery. And on this note, we are now 1-1 one and one instead of 1-4-1 one one in Game 7s. So we've experienced the triumph of a Game 7 victory... And we have experienced the intense defeat of a Game 7 loss. Well, congrats to the Kings. You guys were definitely the better team. Kind of surprised that we even pushed seven games. So that's something to be proud of. Wow, a trade point just for me? Sim to next big event. Sim to the next big thing. Brock Lesnar is coming out. We also magically went up to 86 overall. Oh, here we go. What? What do you want from me? Hey Scott, you're hot trash. Yeah, thank you. It's sad that you couldn't foster more of that attitude with- Huh? Oh! This was for the X Factor, I guess. Yeah. Trying to get up to 7,500 for the team thing. Oh well. I ain't worried about it right now. Philadelphia Flyers, your Stanley Cup champions. The Milwaukee Admirals. Calder Cup. The draft lottery went sicko mode. Buffalo went from 7 to 1. And that was Chicago's pick. They must be fuming. Seattle went from 10 to 2, and Washington 1 to 3. Great. Stat Central. Player stats. Trevor Zegras. 12.7 games. Can't blame him. Had his guy. Terry, same thing. Barabanov, wonderful work from that first line. Goaltending was not it. 884, pathetic. Gibson had a 965. Definitely should have went with him. But for some reason, they're going with the kid. Got a hat and the Flyers going on to win a cup with a 919 save percentage. But how about Flower? A 941 with a 187 GAA. That is nuts. Quinn Hughes, leading defenseman alongside Brandon Montour. But Montour actually didn't do less games. Uyghur and Hronik both had 10. And again, Uyghur did it in two less games. Let's check out four words where the Conn Smythe winner is... Mitch Marner playing for the Broad Street Bullies. Wow. That is something. It's award time. Yep. Okay, cool. Great. Individually, the Art Heart combo goes to Chucky. Darlene with the Norris pointer gets the Lady Bang. Zach Benson grabs the Calder in his rookie season. Mitch Marner with the Con Smythe. Hellebuck with the Vesna. The Jennings goes to Corpy Solo. Eric Johnson takes home the Masterton. McDusty has himself a selkie season. Matthew Kachuk also gets the Ted Lindsay. And Nicolition is your Rocket Richard winner. That's cool and all. That's crazy. But get me out of here. Sim to next big event. Let me talk. Oh, baby. The Sens were unreal. I feel like Columbus could use us too, though. And they're offering more money. I like the Senators' roster, though. But I don't know if it's even... Yeah, they did good. Why? Why'd you have to give me both of these? Like, if it was just one or the other, it'd be an easy choice. But no. You gotta go giving me options. They both have three goalies. 
The Senators did have the better record, but maybe with them signing me, that could change. I don't know. We're getting more money in Columbus, which means we could try to get some of the purchases faster. You know what? We played on Ottawa in our last goalie via pro, or at least somewhat recently. I'm going with Columbus. Wow, another trade point. Thanks. I swear to you if this team got garbage, because they had a good record. So if all of a sudden this season we come back and we're poo, I'm gonna lose it. I don't do preseason. It's not my thing. We will sim up to our first game here against the Buffalo Sabres. And it's also, outside noise around this okay, team James. These days, and I want to bring it back to him for just a moment here. Because Since the teamwork and respect, I mean, like, there's yeah, a lot duh. Of conversations and going with the seems lower one. Debate, you know, the social circle within the room with this team and the focus and the conversation around him and whether he endears himself enough to his teammates off the it's ice. It's kind of my first year hey, here, look, James. I don't think it's a matter about having to hang out and hang out at clubs or or hang out at restaurants. We're going to or clubs? Go sightseeing together off the ice. You know what? You want to endear yourself the best way possible to your teammates? Be the best teammate you can be. He needs to simply focus on being the best player. And you know okay, what? Buddy. If he is the best version of himself on the ice, his teammates will accept him. And if they can't, well, that's on them. But I don't think this is all about having to be this dynamic personality or, or try to extend to who This be one's straight up impossible. Not. No, no, no. Be the best player you can be. I think that's all any teammate or any coach can ask for someone. Yeah. Time for a quick break. Do your best. Your take on this. That's all you can do. A conversation with a fan, Smith Pelly. It's really nice that Devontae's a, a big fan. There is a 0% chance that I stay here for five years. Sorry, Caleb. All right, we are in the Metro. First game is going to be against the Buffalo Sabres. I don't even know. We are in for it. And... I'm going to do you guys dirty again. Not going to look at the lines until next video. We do got some trait points that we can use, however. And I'm not really sure what I should use them on. You know what? Like, poise could actually be pretty good. Recover's good as well. Let's go with recover. Yeah. Purchase that trait. Any salary perks that I could scoop up right now? There is. Hmm. This gives minus one for angles. Minus one endurance. But we get speed and recover. Give me the American chopper. Minus one to passing. I mean, okay. Taking one away from 99 isn't going to do a whole lot. And now we are 88 overall. What a thing of beauty. Oh, there's our equipment. But for some reason, it didn't carry over outside. So is there even a point of me updating this? I'm going to say probably not. I didn't change anything. Just save and exit. Let's see if it's going to be using the default pads or if it's going to... Oh, it actually saved this time. Well, that's fascinating. Why isn't there like an apply team colors option like there is in create a team? Columbus blue jacket. So let's just select all of these and hope that it adds those to my recent colors. Yes. Lovely. I'm trying to spot the imposters because it's not like a bright white like we currently have the Columbus one. It's more of like a gray. So I think that should be it. I'm essentially just picking colors at random here. That has been my approach. And so far, kind of liking the way it's working out. There you have it. The new and improved Scott Sterling. Scott Sterling 2.0 if you will. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking forward to getting our new career started here in Columbus, and I think it's going to be a good one. Hopefully the team looks good, but we will find out next video. So thank you so much. Appreciate you. I will see you soon.